Hey guys, want to record calls on your Samsung phone without that annoying this call is now being recorded announcement? Well, check this out. Right now, as you can see, when I start call recording, it shows a warning that says the other person will hear a call recording announcement in three seconds. But wait for it. So yes, by the end of this video, you'll be able to record calls completely silently without any announcement at all. If you're in a country where Samsung has disabled this option, don't worry. I'll show you how to record calls without announcement on any Samsung phone safely and legally. If you're in a country like the US, UK or Europe, Samsung disables the native call recording feature or adds that loud call is being recorded voice. That's because of region restrictions controlled by something called the CSC or country specific code. This CSC defines what features your phone gets, things like network options, call recording, Samsung Pay and more. So to remove the announcement, we just need to switch our CSC to a region where Samsung allows call recording without the announcement like India, Vietnam or Thailand. And the best part, it doesn't need root access. It won't trip Knox and it won't format your data at all. All right, that's enough of the intro. Let's get started. So here I have my Samsung S23 running One UI 7 on Android 15. But don't worry, this method works on any Samsung phone and on any One UI version, whether you're using One UI 6.1, 7 or even 8. The very first step is to enable developer options on your Samsung phone. So open the settings app, scroll down and select about phone. Next, go into software information and here you'll see an option called build a number. Just tap on it seven times until you see the message that developer mode has been turned on. Once done, go back to settings and you will see developer options. So open it. And yes, there's no need to unlock the bootloader. This method works without unlocking anything, so it's completely safe. Next, scroll down and find USB debugging, then turn it on. This option allows your phone to communicate with your PC through the data cable. Now it's time to connect your device to the PC using the USB cable. As soon as you plug it in, you'll see a pop-up on your phone asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap allow. Once that's done, let's switch over to the PC screen. On your PC, open any browser and head over to the SAMFW website. The link is mentioned in the description below. Once you're there, scroll down and download the SAMFW tool. We'll also need to download the Samsung USB drivers. Just open the second link in the description and download the drivers on your PC as well. All right, once both files are downloaded, let's extract the SAMFW zip file first. After extracting, you can delete the zip to keep things clean. Next, install the Samsung USB drivers. Simply run the setup file and follow the on-screen instructions. Since I already have the drivers installed, I'm going to skip that step. Now install the SAMFW tool itself, run the setup file, follow the steps and let it install completely. Once installed, you'll see the SAMFW tool shortcut on your desktop. Go ahead and open it. Inside the tool, click on the MTP tab and then select change CSC option. Now make sure your device is properly connected to the PC. The tool will first check the ADB connection. Just wait a few seconds until it detects your phone. Next, in the drop-down list, select INS, that's the Indian CSC. It supports call recording without any announcement and it also keeps features like Samsung Pay. You can also choose any other CSC from the list where call recording is available. But before you click on change, there's one important thing you should know. Changing CSC can sometimes affect your future software updates. This is due to the bootloader version. Think bootloader version as a security number attached to your phone's software. Every major update has a specific bootloader number. Now, Samsung doesn't allow you to go backwards to an older security level. So, for example, let's say your phone's current bootloader version is 8, but the region you switched to, like INS, is still on version 7. In that case, your phone just won't get new updates until that region gets the same or newer version. But don't worry, there's an easy fix. Just change your CSC back to your original region, like XSG in my case. Then check for updates and install the latest software normally. 
Once the update is done, you can switch your CSC back to INS or any other region that supports call recording. This way, you'll always stay updated and keep the call recording feature active. Alright, once you've selected your region, click on Change button. And in just few seconds, your CSC will be switched to the one you selected. As you can see, my current CSC is XSG, which is the UAE variant. And that one doesn't support call recording. But once it changes to INS, we'll get the feature enabled automatically. And yes, the CSC has now changed to INS and the device is rebooting automatically. Now just wait for the phone to finish booting up. You can safely disconnect it from your PC. All right, the device has booted up successfully. So let's check if call recording without announcement is working or not. Let me open the phone app and make a quick test call to check. As you can see, the record call button is there and once we tap it, the recording starts silently. No more this call is now being recorded message. The recording happens quietly in the background and the audio file gets saved in your call recordings folder, just like before. And that's it. You've successfully enabled call recording without announcement on your Samsung phone, safely, without root and without losing any data. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Samsung tips, ROMs and Android customization videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.